morning, morning viewers, morning. This is your boy Raleigh again from Extreme Fishers. I'm going out on the reef this morning. It's a pretty cool and overcast morning. I'm going out there to see what I can find this morning. I'm very optimistic this morning. I'm in good spirit. So as we go, see you when we get there, alright? Yes, welcome back guys, welcome back. Alright, reach our destination now. So I'm gonna rig up now, but I'm gonna show you. I'm doing a I'm doing a short tutorial this morning, right? Showing you the type of lines we use, our rig and our um our sinker and hook. Alright? So this is our main line, right? We're using a main line, this is a 30 pound test line. So what we do we attach a swivel at the end of the main line right we just give it the, you guys may, may be familiar with this knot it's a clinch knot all right you bring it over like this put this right back in right and then we tighten it all right so here we have our um our main line to so attach the main line now what we do now we attach on it we attach the leader line at the end of the swivel and we do our same clinch knot right here and we tighten right I'll be using about 24 inches 24 inches of arm um, leader line what we do now need about a foot down about a foot down of the line you take it like this and make a loop right I'm using a left mouse circle hook mustard hook I'm not I'm not telling the mustard but trust me they make good hooks so I have to put this through this part through the eye here and I bring the hook right back through the point of the hook right through here alright what I do sometimes I put the hook on something like this and just twist Twist the line like this. So whatever length you're comfortable with, right, I'm good with this. I'm good with about four inches. Right, but right here you now you have to make a tie. Just like this. But you can't leave like this because what will happen when the fish pull, it, it, it will slide and come down here. Right? So you give it a second tie with something like this. May ensure the second tie is above the first one, right? Then we pull. And slide go right down. All right. So here we have it. Right. Oh, I use my weight now. Our sinker. I put a knot at the end of my leader line. And we use we use spark plug. Cause we are fishing in rocks, right? And lead sinkers are very expensive. So we go the cheaper route. We use the spark plug. Right. But what we do with the spark plug, we tie a weaker line. This is a 12 pound test, a weaker line to the spark plug. The fact that we are fishing in the reef, majority of the time, it is the sinker that fastens, the weight that fastens. So what we do, we just make one pull, weight break off and save our fish. And we recommend the, the circle hook on the reef. The J hook, I would say twice chance of fastening than the circle look all right so here we have it all right i'm gonna show you guys now how i put on the bait but first a lot of people been asking what is this thing on my side here i made this from a pvc pipe this is my, my battle belt you know, right i put my rod in here to fight the fish i made this from a pvc pipe which i used to keep in the crabs here they are to put in my bait and this is not a useful piece of tool. This is a, this is a hook remover. This is a scraper. And it's also the card that I use on tidy fishing on the reef. Alright, so that is much clearer. And this now made from PVC is my rod holder. Because it be difficult for me to hold two or three rods out there in my hand. So I made this. We knocked some steel in the reef out there. So what we do is just put this over the steel. You guys are supposed to see that in, in, in other videos. Right? And cast our lines. And there we have it. So I'm going to show you guys now how, how to put on the 
I wouldn't say how to put how I or how extreme fishers put on the crab on the hook. If you guys have other ways, you can also drop it in and let me know because we're open to new ideas. Each one teach one, alright? So here's this. This is a small crab. Right? And the next thing again, viewers, we use the hook based on the size of the crab. I have I don't have any big crabs, so I'll be using some, some small crabs, so I use a smaller hook, right? So what we do now, we break him out of the shell. I gently break it from the shell. You have to be careful with the, the, the claw, the crab claws. Because trust me, if these claws pinch you, it's going to be blood. There's no doubt about that. Alright, so here it is, out of the, out of the, the, um, the, out of the shell, right? So what we do, we pierce the soft part here, the bottom part, right here. Bring over the hook and press it right in the chest. All right, this is a very small crab, so I'll be using two crab on this hook. Same process, just repeat the process. Through the bottom here. Right through the chest. That's it. However, what I do sometimes, I have some small elastic band here yeah, there. The fact that it's two crab, right? I try to keep them tightly together as possible. So what I do is just use elastic to band on the crab. Alright, so that's it. A perimeter of pump on I would never pass it. Alright folks, so see you when we get to it. Alright viewers, here we are. Reach my destination. Cast out these lines ASAP. Yes, viewers, first run of the morning. Yes, viewers, this is it. It's making a blistering run. Thank you, Father. is fighting like crazy. It's a pretty heavy fish. Really heavy fish. But I have enough patience for him today. I'm gonna win this battle. 
loaded for another, it's not a throw stop. This is a real thing. My God. of a lifetime viewers. I'm so tired. Oh my god. Woo! Alright. Let me time up now and get back out here. I know more is here. Honestly, viewers, there is something special about this race. That spin fisher 850. There is something special about this spin fisher reel here. Trust me, if you can if you guys notice, most of the videos them, this reel that it seems like is the only reel I have. It, it catch most of the fish them. Anyway, I'm getting back out there. So see you soon. Yes, viewers. Now the jack is on. The same reel again. Oh my god, he got a... Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! I see him in the wave, viewers. I see him in the wave. Ah, look at that. Alright. I'm gonna put it back out there now. Put on a piece more bait and get it back out there. Put on two crab and use elastic band to hold them on because the crabs are small. All right. All right, let's go back out there. I'm trying to cast that same place. All right, let's see what will happen again. Alright, see you soon. Yes, this feels nice.
Nice for me, so I can see him, you know, so I can see him. Taking line like crazy. Ah, thank you for all that. He's cutting the water, you know. Coming right in. That's how easy to do it, giving him a fight. Use the wave to carry me, yes! Okay viewers, I'm calling this one because I have work to go. I have to go to work. It was a very short trip and a very successful one. Here it is. Two beautiful fish. Two got away but nevertheless, I'm giving thanks. Alright, so I'm going out now. Clean up these. Get home and head off to work. Alright, thanks guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Alright? See you in the next video.